we have been able to do some work about carrying out fertilization of an egg recovered from the woman and replaced back into the uterus. It was a pregnancy the whole world and the world's press wanted to know about in every detail. It is hoped that centers will be set up where people have been properly trained and this technique will become available to many women all over the world. We're really pleased that we've got our frozen embryo out and it works because it saves the process, doesn't it? Oh, definitely. You don't yeah, have to definitely. go through the whole process again. Your egg is just taken out the freezer and it's fertilised and then it goes back in so you don't have to keep doing all your drugs. I do think it did increase our chances. We had like double the chance really, I, I yeah. think, didn't we? Life's changed hugely for the better. Without ICSI, we wouldn't be sat here with, uh, <laughs> with three children. And yeah, it's, it's our miracle. Um, without ICSI, we wouldn't be here now. We wouldn't have busy times. That's the whole reason we've got kids um, now. So. Yeah. And Bourne Hall kind of was the, the natural answer for us to, to get us to this point. And without them, we wouldn't have our family. We've now um, implemented a, a new procedure here at Bourne Hall for some years, which is called microsurgical testicular sperm extraction. And the chances of finding sperm with micro TZ, as it's called, uh, in a man where there's poor sperm production, um, increases the chances to around 50%. And it's the most up-to-date operation. And obviously it does mean, sadly, that in half of the couples we won't find sperm. But then they know that they've had the most up-to-date procedure. And I think that also helps a lot of those couples move on to the next stage of their treatment if we don't find anything. Finding out that we possibly couldn't have our own children kind of hit us harder than the cancer. But then very, very luckily we were given the opportunity to do IVF with Born Hole and then now nine frozen embryos. When we can get the embryos back, it will be, you know, even if we, would you be happy? even yeah, if we get one, yeah, it would be so, incredible. But yeah. just to have, to have that option still. Yeah. Obviously, being diagnosed with cancer obviously hit us both initially anyway. But we, we got through it. We were dealing with it. It was fine. To have those nine embryos in the first place, it's just made everything so much easier to deal with. EVA stands for Early Embryo Viability Assessment. Um, the EVA system consists of a special microscope which fits inside a standard incubator. The images captured are then analysed by intelligent software which helps to predict which embryos have the highest development potential. We use the information provided by the EVA system in conjunction with standard embryo grading in order to make that important decision of picking the best embryos to give the best chance of success. It is a real privilege working at Bourne Hall because it enables us to continue the research the pioneers have started 40 years ago. The scientific techniques we are developing today in this lab will enable scientists to further understand this fundamental biological process. Patients undergoing IVF treatment here choose to donate their immature eggs that otherwise could not be used for their treatment. This enables us to carry out fundamental research to understand how human eggs undergo their maturation. The research that we are doing now could lead to some important advances in fertility treatment for the future.